Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you my bi-weekly melted box. This is what I have melted through. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. This is what I melted through from July 1st to the 15th. Um, to me it doesn't look like a lot, not look as much as I usually do. But um, like weekends and stuff, we've been kind of going out and having day trips and just spending not a lot of time home. So I haven't been changing my wax out as much. But I didn't melt. So I'm going to show you what I went through. Dirt. Like. Okay, so I think I'm kind of proud that I did finish a lot of, um, well, to me, I went through, you know, some stuff that I only had a little bit of left and you know just to get it out of my stash I don't need a whole bakery bag with like two pieces in it so I think I'm kind of proud kind of you could say that proud of my melting that sounds weird I don't know so um you know what this is a loaf or mini loaf loaf type thingy thing <laughs> This is a loaf that I got um, last year, about a year ago, July. No, exactly a year ago, actually. Um, from Smelly Paws Wax. And I don't know the exact name of the loaf. I just call it my Walking Dead loaf. Um, the embeds are in her scent called Darrow. A perfect blend of lemon, lime, citrus, marine, and exotic notes, moss, tonka, jasmine florals, a clean watery sparkle, and a touch of blue sugar. And the overpour is strawberry white cake, stru crushed strawberries, rhubarb, pink chiffon, and marshmallow peeps. This, um, I only have a little bit left in here. Maybe a quarter of the loaf. I just want to show you my favorite piece in here because I don't want to melt it. Because it's so gosh darn cute. It's my little gun. I, I popped this off, of, you know, from the loaf. And I'm just like holding it to the side because I don't want to, I don't want to melt it because it's so cute. Um, and of course, here's a little skull. Also an embed. Ugh, I'm getting wax under my nails already. Sorry guys, I've been like changing out my wax, messing around. So I only have a little bit left of this loaf, but it smells so freaking good. Like that earthy, manly, Daryl type scent mixed with the strawberry white cake and the rhubarb it's so tart it just smells really really good and i thoroughly you know enjoy this when i melt it um i did kind of tuck it away for a while and forgot about it so when i pulled it back out fell back in love with it again so the scent the throw let me tell you guys it's like a 10 out of 10 11 out of 10 if that even counts um you know if that makes sense it's super strong but it's so good it doesn't you know trigger that needle in my head type headache um it's just a beautiful scent i really really love it i what i do want to say that it doesn't last as long as it did when i first got it um granted it is a year old and the wax is softer so i'm assuming it has a higher soy percentage in it which makes sense because soy wax doesn't necessarily last much longer than a year. The quality does start to deteriorate. So I'm going to finish that up just so, you know, I don't lose its performance because it, it is a really good, good scent. Um, this Mainstays candle that I melted down in Purple Sands, I've just been kind of trying to rid myself of that I don't, i'm not a huge fan of the scent it's not a bad scent i just do not like the play-doh type undertone that i get with it which is weird because i'm finding with the mainstays candles a lot of the lighter scents have that undertone this is fresh cotton from mainstays another candle that i melted down um, this does not have that undertone, but it does not last long. It is um, just like a fresh cotton scent. There's nothing really standoutish about it. Um, you know, it's a fresh scent. I 
mainly melt it in my bathroom. Excuse me, guys. I sneeze and now like my sinuses want to drip. Uh, old Primitive Treasures. This is Pink Candy Magic. I melted this again in my bedroom. Cotton Candy, Pink Chiffon Type, and Baby Magic Type. Such a beautiful scent. It's still performing phenomenally. Like, I can smell this in my room. Especially in the summertime, we have the central air going. And um, I sleep with two fans on along with the central air and I could still smell this so that is really really good I'm going to be sad when that's gone um, another one of my absolute favorites this is uh, candle candles it's lavender chamomile and this is like a straight up Johnson Johnson bedtime bath scent it is so amazing it you know the performance is 10 out of 10 like scent appeal the throw everything and because candle candles is no longer operating or you know it's it's closed i can't get that anymore and i know other vendors and other companies do make lavender chamomile it's it's not the exact same and i just really really want that scent so that's oh crap i'm throwing wax on the floor um so that's all. That's it for the bakery bags, at least the ones that I have stuff left in them. Um, this is the last bakery bag. This is Up the Creek Scent Strawberry Shortcake Salty Sea Air. I really, really, really love this scent. It is so fresh and fruity. I don't necessarily get a lot of bakery with this, with the shortcake, but it's there in the background. It's really, really nice, and the Salty Sea Air just adds a freshness to it that... I really love so from honey bunnies candles and melts I melted some monkey farts I forget what the exact set notes are for this but it smells so good so this is a six ounce clamshell so each cube I cut in half and put it in my warmers and let me tell you guys this throws like a boss um, I really like the scent appeal. It's fruity. I think there's some type of like banana, pineapple, and some other fruity scents. Um, I really, really like the scent of it. And it threw, again, like a boss. Okay. So from Super Tarts, in my bathroom, I melted Briarcliff, which is Mac Apple Shaving Cream and Sea Salt. It just it smells good. I love the Mac Apple blended with that sea salt um, and shaving cream. It's just a perfect blend all together. This, um, I left this in my bathroom for two days. It was, for the scent appeal, I, I would give it a 8 out of 10. I really, really liked it. But the throw, the throw, um, they can't see you, babe, even back there. Aaliyah, come on, what are you doing? Get out of there. Get out. Okay. Get out. They can't, they can maybe see the tips of your fingers. Down, down, down. Okay, wave. All right, goodbye. <laughs> Briarcliff, what was I saying? Crap. Oh, okay, so the set and peel was an eight. I really like this. The throw, I want to say, um... I'd give it about a seven. But the one thing we don't have on a numeric scale was the strength. I mean, or the stamina. The deter I don't. I have no idea what I'm saying. This lasted a really long time. Like I said, I left it in my bathroom for two days and it was still going. So um, a very nice, lovely, fresh scent. Not overpowering, but good. That was pretty long-winded. <laughs> Cutting my Another one in the bathroom. Oh no, was this the bathroom or my bedroom? bedroom. I don't remember. Bedroom. But this is Darth bedroom. Bed. I melted this in my bedroom. Yeah, I think it was. It's the Omen blended with rosemary mint. I love this. This is so good. I'm. I would always hear Devin like raving about this. I'm cutting with my right hand, but it's not 
because you're not used to it and you're left-handed. It's just not going to work out for you that well. Why don't you keep trying with your left hand? At least you're a little more coordinated. So this scent, ugh, it's amazing. That rosemary and mint is so beautiful. I love rosemary and mint scents. And the omen is a great one. I don't know what happened to this here. To the label here. Anyways. This was really, really good set, and my husband loved it as well. For him to comment on a wax in a good way, I mean, he really likes it. He would. I finished this clam of Rory persimmon iced cookies and strawberry pop tarts. This is very, very nice. Can you go over there and do that, please? I need help. I'll help you in a little bit. I just, I'm filming right now. This is really, really good. You get the, um, I don't know what persimmon is supposed to smell like, but I do smell something else other than the strawberry bakery, and it's really, really good. I like that one. I would repurchase that one. In a heartbeat. From Wonderberry, I melted some of this pistachio lemon fluff. I got this as a gift from my beautiful friend, Rebecca. Check out her channel. She's Ophelia Melts if you don't already already subscribe to her. It's such a pretty yellow. I really like that. It's a like canary yellow wax. Um, this is really, really nice. I think the pistachio and lemon blend really, really nicely together. And the marshmallow fluff creams it out a bit. It's really enjoyable scent. Um, and it lasted quite a while. I put that in my bedroom, which is a 24 watt mainstays i know i don't talk about my warmers a lot but the the issue a lot of people have with the mainstays the 24 watts is that they burn off the scent oils too quickly that one lasted a really long time in my mainstays i gotta tell you this is sensational strawberries and cream i found one just a single one of these in my walmart it was just randomly thrown there there was no like sticker for it anywhere on the shelves i'm assuming someone just returned this from another walmart um and you know they accepted it and threw it in with the wax this is such an amazing scent i love this so much and i'm so sad that i can't find this if you guys find this let me know i will I'll pay you to mail it to me because this is that good. I've, n I've not seen anyone else melt this or haul it. Oh, God, it's so yummy. 10 out of 10 all around. Tropical Beach, I finished. I only had like one of each cube in um, this clam left, so I melted it in my bathroom. Such a beautiful... Um, Fruity floral scent. I really, really like this. Pineapple melon freeze. This is just your typical tropical fruit scent from Better Homes and Gardens. It's really, really good. You don't get anything cold or freezy about it. It's just, um, you know, you get the pineapple, you get the cantaloupe, and I do get that greeny note from the honeydew. It's really, really good. And, um, let me see. Yeah, so this was downstairs in my kitchen and living room. It lasted a pretty good long time. That one I threw on before I left for the day. And so I couldn't tell you, you know, that much about it. But when we did get home, you could still smell it. Maybe not as strong as, um,. When I first put it in, but I'm telling you, we were, you know, out of the house for a good 10 to 12 hours. Island Coconut Lime. I had one cube left of this, so I put it in my bathroom. Again, a very beautiful, tropical, coconut limey scent. This is not the type of, like, coconut, like, edible coconut. This is, like, a suntanny type coconut, suntanny lotion type coconut with, um... A splash of lime it's the good lime it's not that sour vomit smelling type lime it's really really nice and fresh so um, I would purchase this again 
Jamaican rum gelato. I, I bought this because I wanted to try it. I was kind of skeptical. I didn't really, wasn't crazy about it on cold. Um, and on warm, I wasn't that crazy about it either. It's a good smell. It reminds me of like, like butter pecan ice cream, something like that. Um, and it does have a slight, oh my God, I can't even speak, a slight rumminess to it. I do get the rum, um, hello, I'm Hispanic, we drink rum, it's in there, but it was just too sweet, too sweet for me. It was, you know, it was messing with my stomach, so I, you know, I changed it out pretty quickly. Um, I will probably just be giving this away to whoever wants it. Um, from, oh gosh, Villainous Wax, I think that is. Yeah, Villainous Wax, The Evil Stepsisters. I don't know the exact scent notes of this, but it is for sure tea and cakes in there. I really, really like it. I really love tea and cakes in general. So this was a good one for me. Amaze Ball Smellies, Lord of Misrule. I melted a, one of these little candies in my bedroom warmer, which is the mainstays, and it's really, really good. I Through this, I found out, since this is just straight up Lord of Misrule, I learned that I really like Lord of Misrule. Um, it is a lush dupe. Um, it's a very spa fresh type scent but it doesn't have like that green cucumbery no i'm not that crazy about it but i loved it it lasted oh, almost three days because i was just being lazy and i didn't want to change out my warmer you know by the time i hit the bed i was just like i'm not getting up and you could i could still smell it so that's my testament to that sweet sage scents pineapple half baked this was nice. It was a fresh squeezed pineapple, zucchini bread, lemon pound cake, and coconut cream pie. I got pineapple and zucchini bread. Um, it was really, really nice. I do wish it was stronger, but, I mean, this is from December 2016. So, I, I couldn't tell you how it would be if it were not a year and a half old. You know, if it were more fresh. But it was... It was a really enjoyable scent. Um, it just didn't throw very much. It was like, let's give the scent through about a 5 out of 10. Vintage Road Candles, Sweets for My Sweet, Orange Chiffon Cake, Raspberry Sorbet, Peeps, and Tea and Cakes. I love this. I really, really love this. Once uh, Sarah restocks this in chunk bags. Actually, I should check if she has it first. Um, I, I don't even know if it's sold out or not right now. But I would repurchase this in a chunk bag. It is so, so good. The appeal to me is like a 9 out of 10. And the scent throw is like a 7 to 8 out of, out of 10. It's a very, very lovely scent. This is um, a lovely natural bath and body squirrel scent. I don't, um, I don't exactly remember what this smelled like while it's warming. On cold, it kind of reminds me of those um, Bit of Honey candies, or like Mary Jane's. It's like a salty, nutty, caramelly type scent. From a crafty barista, I melted this scent shot in warm vanilla sugar. I don't, I don't rem I don't know why I'm not remembering too much like I said we were out a lot so I mean I would put something in and then we'd be going all day and then we would come back and just go to bed and I wouldn't really smell too much so um, on cold I really liked this scent it is very very good I've never had warm vanilla sugar from Bath and Body Works so I couldn't tell you if it is um, you know the best dupe not good dupe or whatnot it's just a very beautiful warm scent that I smelled on cold. Cool Mountain Air from Up North Creations. This is such a great scent. I melted this in my bathroom. 
to me it's it's unique it's not your average like soapy clean fresh scent this is just it is very airy um missy did a great job with this scent it was just it's just really really good i would buy this again and again um yeah that's really really good i had it for about three days in my bathroom going um eggnog i mixed with berries and pine i believe yeah i believe i mixed these two from up north creations this is such a good scent alone these scents are amazing together, and a mix together it yes exactly what she said together it's beautiful the berries and pine has a very beautiful fruity <laughs> oops it's a very <laughs> It's very nice, fruity, but really, really fresh type pine scent. It's not like your car air freshener Christmas tree type pine. It's really, really nice. I like that, and it lasted quite a long time. I would give it about 10 hours. Um, and the last one I melted from Up North Creations was grape soda. And this was a surprise love for me because... I just generally stay away from grape scents. Ever since I tried Purple Cow, it just ruined grape for me. Um, not from this vendor. It's just like previously, at least like two years ago. Um, Purple Cow and I did not get along. And, you know, it just kind of turned me off to grape scents in general. I ordered a mystery um, lot from Missy at Up North Creations. And this was in there and I really liked it. And it smells like grape Fanta. Or grape crush um you know what I'm gonna do a little test right now uh, uh, uh. hang with me guys I just want to uh I just want to test something out because guess what I have here I never buy this stuff, but we're going to see. We're going to compare it. Hubby brought this home. All right. <laughs> so I have this cup of grape crush, and I have my grape soda right here. Let's smell them. This one. This one. Oh, this they one. do. This one. Okay. I mean, minus the fizzy, they smell alike. Mm -mm. The, the This one is a little sweeter. It doesn't have that fizzy in it. It doesn't have the fizzy in it, right, but it has the scent. It's like the same smell. Mm -hmm. Except, Very except like, this has more fizzy in it. Of course. You see all the fizzy. Yeah. Great job, Missy. Can I, can I have a sippy? Beep, beep. Here, you can have that. Yeah. Wait, give me a sip. I've been talking. All right, guys. <laughs> that went off on a tangent. Grape soda. That'd be a cool picture, right? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you for coming on to watch my bi-weekly melted box. Um, I will be back again uh, in two weeks for the end of the month. Um, by Weekly Melted Box, I do have a couple hauls in between there to film. Um, I have uh, Vintage Road Candles coming up. I am just waiting to get... This is going to be um, a combination of three orders since they are smaller orders. So I'm just waiting for my last one to come in from Vintage Road Candles. And then I'll do just a collective haul. Well, I and I also have an order from Honey Bunnies to film. So Aaliyah just wants to say hi. Hello guys. Hello. She's enjoying her summer vacation. And um peace. Oops. <laughs> Great. Here we go. Peace. Um so she will be around when I'm doing my videos obviously. All right guys. 
Hit that like button if you like what you saw today. Subscribe if you want to stick around. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, you subscribe, hit the, the notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. Right, what she said. Hit that bell if you want. Bye, guys.